Hey everyone, it's about um, 10.35, I believe. 10.36 actually, on this Thursday. You don't have to be at work till about 5.30 today. Close, so it's 5.30 to... Um, but I want to talk about something. I want to talk a little bit about what's going on currently uh, as we speak uh, with the um, Sonic... with the... Archie Action Hour, Hour panel over in NYC at the New York Comic Con, and um, mostly what's going on with Sonic. Now, we just got um, some information on the sequel. That's right, the sequel, um, if you will, to Worlds Collide. Now, Worlds Collide, um, for some of you that don't know, was a crossover event during the summer of 2013. This crossover event, crossover event, uh, basically uh, took par took part in canon and in continuity with both books, mostly Sonic's, but took place in canon and in continuity. Now, what's happening next is for a sequel. 2015, we're getting uh, a crossover event again, known as World Unite. Now, some of the information that we had gotten off panel, well, not, yeah, off panel, kind of like before this, kind of thrown here and there, was it was going to be a limited series crossover. Now, Ian Flynn apparently has corrected that and said, hey, I don't know where people got this limited series idea, but it's not that. It's going to be part of the regular series, just like before. But we have no idea. We don't, we don't really know what's going to happen there. Now, uh, according to some of the reports here, um, uh, some of the things discussed, they didn't really say much just yet. They didn't really say much. Maybe I'll say some later on, and maybe I'll do an update there, but... They didn't really say much. All they said was it's going to be more bigger, basically, than uh, than before. That, if, if I can read this down to it. Okay, it says that around 12.59 Eastern Time, that they were getting right into teasing, right into it by teasing the panelists, uh, that they were getting right into it by teasing the second crossover, Worlds Unite. One o'clock, they said they're talking about Worlds Collide was the biggest Archie action event ever. Also at that time, Paul Kaminsky states, quote, From the moment Worlds Collide ended, we started thinking about what to do now. He continued saying about a minute later, quote, Worlds Unite is the second act of the crossover story. It will take what you loved about the first one and blow it up. Now, this is from uh, TSSZNews.com, who's doing this live through, I think, Twitters and Facebooks and all that. They're saying, this is TSSZ dot, uh, TSSZNews.com. This is what they say at, 12, uh, at 102 Eastern Time, which is about 10.02 here. They say, we can, quote-unquote, assume... Sonic and Mega Man's worlds will unite, but the key word is assume. Then it says around that same time frame, they report that it says around the same time frame, worlds unite will be looped into the regular narrative. And uh, that's all we get. The other information as far as Sonic goes is they do talk about Sonic Boom. They give sneak peeks on Sonic Boom's first issue and state that, you know, Sticks the Badger is going to be awesome. I think apparently some of us can probably see that already because she's a very funny character. Uh, they talk about the uh, upcoming Champions arc and that that takes place um, in the future, far off in the future. I think. I think that's what they say. That's what they say here. Let me let me check. They say okay at um, ten fifteen Pacific time, one fifteen Eastern. It says a story called Champions is off in the future, starting with two sixty eight. 
It will contain characters we haven't officially seen in Sonic Media in a long time, like Breezy the Hedgehog. They also say that um, uh, when, when Breezy was, was seen, her picture came up. It was too much applause. They talk about how I think one of the artists was able to sneak Mama Robotnik from Adventures into one of the covers, or into the comic somehow, either as an off-panel on the covers. It um, also mentions that Honey the Cat has gotten an updated uh, design as well. But mainly Champions, the Sonic Fighters adaption is going to be far off in the future. Now what that means though, I don't know. I can only assume perhaps it's going to be another time, another place deal. Now you might be th thinking, well, I thought we got rid of that. I thought that got, I thought, you know, you're probably thinking, sorry, I had to uh, move the headset for a second there. Now you might be saying, well, I thought we got rid of that when uh, we had this whole uh, soft retcon reboot. Uh, no, we didn't. I don't think we did. I think it's just mainly... That right now we've got such a big thing going on with the whole, okay, they got a piece, you know, with the whole Freedom Fighters traveling around the world trying to piece the world back together deal. That the only way you're going to do this is you got to set it in another time and another place. And a lot of fans may not like that. I mean, yes, they like the fact of finally seeing Honey make her comic debut. They're happy that Breezy is making her debut. But the not, but I'm, I can guarantee you they're not entirely happy with the fact that for four months we're going to get interrupted. <laughs> you know, that we're going to get interrupted for this Sonic the Fighters adaption. Now, this would also explain why Tails is on both covers. Tails is on the cover for the first issue of the Champions arc, and he's also on the cover for the whole a new universe arc. Now, as far as the universe arc goes, starting with 71, according to the panel, it's going to deal with Sally in a digital world. So basically, it's not just a Nicole arc, it's what I think some of us pretty much assumed, it's not just mainly Nicole's arc, it's also, it's also a Sally arc. It's basically a Nicole-Sally arc. I think the main focus being on Nicole and somewhat on Sally, but it's mainly a Nicole-Sally arc um, starting in issue 71. Now, and that's uh, of Sonic Universe. Now, getting back to Worlds Unite, um, from what they've been able to explain there, the sequel to Worlds Collide being the second act in the crossover story, you know, when, when they talk about they're going to take what we liked about Worlds Collide and blow it up, and basically say that it's going to be looped into regular narrative, the only thing I can see by saying being looped is it's going to be something that, you know, as I, I'm guessing, this is just, I'm just assuming this right off the bat with Worlds Unite, because they didn't say much, and that, I'll give them credit there, that is, that is good, that, that's a good move on their part, they didn't really say much, but I, I will say this, um, if I'm Archie Comics, if I'm Archie Comics, then I've got to, you know, do what i got to do to keep it a secret, keep everybody just on pins and needles as to what we're, you know, as to what we mean by, oh, it's going to, you know, take the previous first act, uh, the first part of the crossover, and blow it up even more so. And I also got to add, kind of take into what they said by saying it's going to, narratively be looped narratively into or be looped into the regular narrative and the only thing I can assume the only thing I can assume is what he means by that is there's going to be a situation upcoming because they pretty much have said some people have already pretty much reported that the Mega Man comics are already kind of building towards Worlds Unite they've already hinted at what will be at what Worlds Unite could be and could end up like or kind of hint at fa hinted at facts of where we could be going. Now, I don't subscribe to Mega Man comics. As good as they might be, I don't I don't uh, subscribe to them. Now, I know some people might say, "Well, you should." Um, yeah, maybe I should, but 
the only, like I said, the only reason I'm not subscribed to them is because, you know, to, to me it's, you know, to me it's just you know it's a. Uh, I I've never really been much of a Mega Man fan. I mean, yeah, he's an iconic icon. Don't don't get me wrong about that. But um, I, I've never really been much of a Mega Man fan. You know because. But honestly, yeah, he's one of Capcom's main mascots and all that, but he was never really, you know, and he's and he's been given the treatment probably more so than any game character out there as far as, like, animated and anime series go. But the point is I've just never really been much of a fan. And, um, and you know, and to me, if what people that do read the book are saying is true... Now, I don't know if Ian has confirmed this or not, then what's ever going on in the Mega Man continuity is, in comic, is setting this up, you know, is, I guess, doing a decent job to setting us up to World Unite. Now, like I said, the only thing I can assume, and this is assuming, folks, so I can assume, is that this whole, you know, when they say looped into regular narrative, is World Unite is going to be a story that kind of, because Sonic and the others are trying to reunite the world. Because I think that's what mainly it's going to deal with. It's going to deal with with Sonic and his friends trying to, you know, reunite the world. I think what's going to happen is something's going to take place. They're all going to get the Chaos Emeralds. Eventually they're probably all going to get the Chaos Emeralds with or without Eggman's help depending on where they go with that. But they're all going to get the Chaos Emeralds. And something's going to happen that is going to cause the world not just to start coming back together, but it's going to cause the world to start bringing in pieces of Mega Man's world. That the effects of the previous Genesis wave is going to start to come to fruition. That as they're trying to rebuild the world, that little bits of Mega Man's world will probably disappear from his world, and that's probably where we're going with, and show up in Sonic's world, and some maybe pieces of Sonic's world as they're trying to put it back together will probably disappear and end up in Mega Man's world. That that's all I uh, that's all I'm thinking of. That's all I can assume of exactly where they're going with this. That what's going on with Mega Man that what's going on in the Mega Man continuity as we speak, you know, as far as it pertains to what, um, as to, as to what's going on with, um, you know, as to what's going on with, you know, Worlds Unite, again, I can only assume and guess that basically parts of the world are going to disappear and show up in another world, in in the other's world. So, in other words, let's say a piece of Mega Man's world will show up in Sonic's world, and in turn, a piece of Sonic's world will show up in Mega Man's world. And then that's how you're looking at Worlds Unite, that piece by piece, those worlds will kind of start coming together by replacing one piece of the world with the other person's piece of the world, and vice versa. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just assuming, I'm assuming that. I'm assuming that, and I'm also assuming maybe this is going to finally, which I think they need to do, involve every character. Because if what Paul Kaminsky is saying here by stating that Worlds Unite is going to take what we loved about the first one and blow it up, then that to me also states that they're going to make it bigger than the last one. They're going to make it bigger by expanding not just on what the story could be, maybe lengthwise, but also, it's going to expand character-wise. So, that, you know, it's not just focused on game characters. It's also going to include the comic characters as well. So, in other words, Sally, Antoine, Bunny, Rotor, Nicole will all be part of this. Along with any uh, Mega Man exclusive, comic exclusive characters. So, that'll be really interesting uh, uh, to see. Really interesting to see. But... My take on it is, so far, if you're a Sonic comic fan, decent news, news for the comic, and as far as World Unite go, 
We'll just have to wait and see.